see Exodus, Gods and Kings, and uh, wow, mm. that was mm. really good. Yeah. Oh, well, man. I mean, there was a couple of things that I didn't agree with. Like, for instance, Moses doesn't believe in God. Um, Wait, but I'm sorry. You no, he mean, doesn't believe in God. Well, for most of the movie, he doesn't. Well, he does. And even then, when even he, when he believes in him. Yeah, he's like, he's I'm like, not going to be lectured by you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's, yes, I mean, yeah. he says, I'm not going to be humbled by you. The most humble man to ever live. Yeah, he's not going to be humbled, by, gonna be humbled, by, the humbled by God. And God is a 12-year-old, now nah, maybe 11. 10. He's 11. 11. He's an 11-year-old kid who I think is more like a Buddhist monk because mm-hmm. he's constantly making tea. I don't know why he's making and, tea. And forming little rocks into pyramid shapes. I, yeah. I, I was really confused. But he's, he's sitting there just piling up little rocks into, like, I guess a pyramid? I don't know. To, to uh, represent Egypt, maybe? No, I, was, I don't know. What was no, that? No, it was really good. Is uh, it so, because he hadn't invented Legos yet? I'm not sure. But God's a 12-year-old kid or 11-year-old kid that focuses too much on rocks and tea time. Mm-hmm. And impetuant would be uh, would be too kind of a of a word he's he's like um you know i'm not gonna wait around anymore because i'm i'm 11 now <laughs> it's bizarre um moses what? moses becomes a the latest member of isis which i think is nice might be isil isis i'm not sure which we, but he decides to become a terrorist what what's interesting is as you look back on christian bale's comments now if all he knows and i'll bet it is i'll bet he's never read the bible he has no idea who moses was all he knows about moses came from this movie he's exactly right yeah he's exactly right because Moses He's was a, a terrorist in this movie. And uh, by, by the way, by the way, when he does go up into the mountain, you have to understand, too, that Christian Bale is probably right because he went up on the mountain and he didn't just see God. What happened was there was a rock slide and Moses was hit in the head by a rock. And then and buried, buried in mud. All you could see is his face. Right. So he's buried in mud. And then this twelve, year, this 11-year-old boy comes walking so up. He's like, bad. hey, why don't you get up? Why don't you get up? What are you doing? You can't get up, can what are you? you? Doing? Can't get out, can you? Can't get out. Look at I got a tree behind me. It's on fire. Can't get out, can you? You're in the mud. <laughs> head hurt? Yeah, my head hurts. Can you help me up? No, it's much worse than just your head hurt. What, what do you What do you mean? <laughs> your legs are broken and stuff. <laughs> Want some tea? It's weird. It's weird. Uh, it's not an exact quote, but it's <laughs> it's, it's pretty close. The scene. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty close to no, that. Okay, so it's so bad. the whole thing. Okay, so now he goes down to Miriam, his <laughs> wife. And he tells Miriam, who, before he goes on the mountain, she's like, hey, this is our God. We have to respect our God. And and she's talking to him about teaching the son. Right. Uh, his son about right. God. And we, we can't have him be a godless kid. Right. And so then he goes and then, up, and then he's in a mudslide, and he gets hit in the head with a rock and sees a 12-year-old kid making tea, and then comes down, and Miriam is the first to say, you got hit in the head with a rock. Okay? You didn't see God. You didn't see God. You're crazy. All right? <laughs> so All of this, of course, right in the Bible. Not the Bible that I have. But I'm sure it's in some Hollywood Bible. Well, they have all those different translations. Yes. It's probably just in this one of This is the Hollywood yeah, translation. Right. Yeah. So then she, she says, you've been hit in the head with a rock. And then she, when he says, hey, i got to go free God's people, she says, what kind of God sends you away from your family? <laughs> what, Miriam? <laughs> what so then he goes and then he doesn't want to rely on god at all he doesn't throw the staff down he doesn't really uh, do any of that he instead just starts to train an army and uh, then starts setting the granaries on fire and 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 blowing committing up. acts of terrorism he, committing acts of terrorism which of course is all through up. exodus by the way yeah. i don't remember yeah, look, it at, look at exodus and the yeah. acts of terror mm-hmm. uh it's a subheading so oh, okay. exodus acts of terror and then it's so we have moses moses, moses has been knowed moses and by the way the miracles they're all explainable and this was the least of my problems i don't have a problem you want to explain miracles that way explain miracles that way there's there's tons of we, we have seen tons they of, just are their natural occurrences. Yeah, they're natural occurrences. And OK, <laughs> that's fine. I mean, no, it's natural occurrence. Don't, Although the natural occurrence. No, don't make fun of it. Come on. Don't come. Don't on. make. Stop it. Why can't he make Here's fun the, of it? I want to no, hear him make fun of it. He's not going to make fun of it. This is because this is the way it happened. Okay. Um, you know, this, massive alligators. This this the Red Sea turning into blood It's yeah. because these gigantic, huge crocodiles come out into the Nile. Right. And they uh, eat they, people. They eat people on a boat. And then the blood spills into the river. 
and then and it then goes it just, downstream, and then it's just it's well, all bloody. and the thrashing around by the by the crocodiles caused some of it to mix in there too, and, yeah. and it stirred things up, so and then cro- it just it was right. just crocodiles, it was crocodiles. Uh, it was crocodiles. Eating, people, eating people, and like, that created the blood to go because there was like ten people that they ate. Mm-hmm. So that made an entire the yep, Nile, yep, yeah, yep, river, yep, yeah, go yep, red. Yes, mm-hmm. okay, uh, yes. okay. So then, I, don't make fun of that. Oh, no, I, I can't find anything to make fun of right. because of the blood in the river. Then, of course, the fish died. And when they when, he, right? when they crossed the Red Sea, it didn't part. It just kind of went out. It dried of tide. Up. It just it just it was like it was like low tide. It was like super 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 low tide. It just it and he didn't put his staff in. He actually went to sleep. He was like, oh crap. <sighs> Now, Army's how coming we, to get us. So how I'm are we going to get across here? I'm going to take gonna, a nap. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to sleep? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to take my sword out, and I'm going to be really mad at God, and I'm going to be really mad at Pharaoh, and I'm just going to throw my sword out in the sea, and then I'm going to sleep. So an army's coming I, behind you. You're going to get rid of your gonna, weapon. Mm-hmm. And you're going to sleep. You go night-night. And mm-hmm. then you sleep. when you wake up, because, you know, seagulls are squawking and stuff. Mm-hmm. Then you wake up and you're like, what's up with all these seagulls? And then you look out and you see, oh, my gosh, the tide is out. Wow, what a magical story. Oh, Greatest story magical. ever told. Oh, it's it's, that. it's it really is, bad. It's seriously, uh, to me, it's the worst movie of all time. The, the worst, worst movie I've ever movie seen. movie of all time? I won't yes. go that far. Yes, I, I believe it to be the worst movie of all time. I think it will do. Oh, crap. I, I it's think, worse than I would watch The Lone Ranger ten times before I'd ever see this. I, I will tell you that I will tell you that uh, The Lone Ranger did come to mind when I was watching it, and I think it is a dangerous movie because the scenes of the plague and the flies and stuff is really impressive. It's really impressive, and I think people will not go to the movie theater; they'll just see this on Netflix. But the problem is, is your kids will see this on Netflix. And because of the nature of how good the effects are, your kids, are, my kids, everybody's kids, we all had Charlton Heston as our Moses icon. And so we have the story right. This is going to become the story that your kids will see. If you watch it on Netflix, you don't have to go to the movie theater. You know, mm-hmm. People will just go, I, you know, I'm curious, I want to see it. They'll watch it, and they'll watch it with their kids. And this will be the story of Moses that will embed in their head. So I think it's an, I don't think it's the worst movie I've seen. I think it's one of the more dangerous movies I've ever seen, religiously speaking. Because yeah. it's all, it's all screwed up. And there's no, there's zero spirituality in this. Oh my gosh, there's Moses none. is never, never connects with God. <laughs> he never, never no, has he's... any relationship with God at all. No, God is always this kid that just shows yeah. up and is yeah. like, and the kid is, he's this petulant, uh, irritated and uh, no there's no love there's no, no love, love at all Mm-mm. in this particular Mm-mm. rendition of god right, well, let me if, ask if hollywood really is run by jews what happened did they all take a couple yeah. of years off oh, during this because really they just destroyed moses i don't know if the <laughs> jews in hollywood that supposedly run hollywood know you've just destroyed moses all right let me ask you this bad movie death match what movie is worse, Noah or Moses? Mo- uh, this. Or Exodus. Exodus. Exodus worse, worse than Noah. Than, to me, worse than Noah. Yeah. Glenn? Uh, more dangerous than Noah. Not as laughable as Noah. And not as laughable. No. Laugh, uh, I mean, Noah was laugh out loud with the rock people. Yeah, the this rock is... people made it. And that's <laughs> yeah. that's what makes it better, I think. The rock people. Yeah, it makes <laughs> because... it less dangerous. Yeah, it's less dangerous. It's less subversive to religion. I think this is a very subversive movie for religion. If you're holding out hope that this was going to be a good, it's not. Don't 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 give them any money. Don't give them any money. Don't rent it on Netflix. Don't don't do anything. Avoid this one literally like the plague that it is. Go like Pat said. Go watch the Lone Ranger twice, ten times, ten times, ten times before this. you see wow. this one. I want to. I really want to ask Hollywood, and this is this this is the business side in me. Who are you appealing to? A great when, you, when you sat when you sat in the movie, because this is what I, uh, the first twenty minutes of this movie I watched, and I looked at uh, with an exception that that um, um, Aaron is just missing. I looked at Jackie and and Tanya and Mikkel, and I said, "Okay, so far I don't have a problem with this. I mean, it's not quite right, but uh, I, I'm okay yeah, with this." The first twenty minutes, first yeah. twenty minutes, you're like, "Okay," mm-hmm. and then it just goes to hell in a handbasket. But as I'm watching it, I'm thinking to myself, "Who are they appealing to?" Because as a religious person, uh, as somebody who believes in Moses, somebody who believes in God, somebody who believes in the Ten Commandments, somebody who believes in Exodus, I'm offended. I'm, I'm like deeply offended that yeah. you are taking yeah. a prophet of the Lord, one of the most humble men of all time, and you're making him an Al-Qaeda member. 
It makes absolutely no sense. And so you're not trying to appeal to me as a religious person. Are you just trying to appeal to the people who like special effects? Is that who you're going for? Because the they're people... not going to be turned on by the by the biblical story. No. They're not going to want to see it. No, if you if so... you don't know the biblical story at all, you're not interested in the biblical story. And so why would you go see this? That's why it only made twenty four point five million over yeah, the weekend. Yeah, it's bad. And wouldn't you say it's too bad. the no risk here? And yeah. probably is true at this point. Hollywood has now spent three hundred million dollars on two religious themed movies and Good. hopefully zero. they'll never make one again I, uh, that's gonna what's gonna happen i hope yeah. so well i, I hope so they're doing, more say, da- they're doing more damage to religion by doing these they movies are. they're it's doing, really bad they're doing significant damage to the culture because that's this we did ask for this to some degree no no we no, did not we, we, just no, didn't. we asked right. for actual reli- we religious asked for movies. hollywood to understand that there's an audience out there for re- yes right. and they still don't and they still don't obviously they still don't but they dumped money into this they got a-list yeah. actors to do it and yeah, they're but they going don't, to take but, this as a lesson to never also, do it again. But they also took good. Then don't do it again. We'll do it on our own. Here is, it, 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 may I suggest, any money you were going to spend on going to see the Moses movie, go to AmericanDreamLabs.com and buy a T-shirt. Buy something there and let us make these movies. Let us make these movies. American Dream Labs wants to make movies that, and, and you know, Pat and I talked about it, somewhere between Lord of the Rings and Narnia, is where our movies are going to be. Where Lord of the Rings, you look at The Hobbit, and you look at it and you say, okay, that's a Christian movie, but it's hard to find the messages in The Hobbit they're and Lord there, of the Ring. They're but there, but they're it's clandestine. Very, it's very hard. Mm-hmm. And with Narnia, with C.S. Lewis, I think it's a little too obvious. I want to do something Ill- right in between, that you can go and watch the movie, but it's mm-hmm. easy once somebody says, hey, did you know that this story is about X, Y, and Z? And you're like, oh, crap. Oh, my gosh, I didn't even see that. And it's all there. It's just not in your face. Between that and, you know, if I if I had the money, I would do Exodus right. I, I looked at that movie and I thought, if you could have, if, if you would have given me a quarter of that money, a quarter of that money, I would have given Cecil B. DeMille a run for his money. It could be done and be done right. And it doesn't take $200 million to do it. It just takes an understanding of the text and a love of God to be able to do it. So what I would ask you, if if you want to see movies, pray that Hollywood stops because they are doing damage to religion. I don't want them to make any more movies. I'd like to leave that. I was going to say religious movies, but no, I'd like them not to make any more movies. But anyway, go and donate at AmericanDreamLabs.com. It's actually not a donation. It's You're buying a product. Go buy a painting of the Last Supper that was done by the head of the Dream Labs. It's unbelievable. Go buy a T-shirt for the revolutionary. That is a story of, well, I, want, I don't want to tell you. That's a, that's a good story that that we want to, we want to uh, show to you uh, someday soon. A history house, putting our history back into a a usable way that, that people consume, can, can consume and consume with their children. Here's the worst thing about Exodus. Our children are going to have this as their benchmark. Do not go see this movie. Do not go see the movie. It is really not good. It's putrid. It's subversive. <laughs> putrid. It's putrid. It's a, it really it's, is. It's, 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 a waste of, it's a waste of money. It has absolutely no redeeming value to it at all. And I have one more observation of it when we come back off the break that I think is... I think it was their way of buying off the constituency. I think it's buying off Jewish people, trying to buy off Jewish people. Jewish people should be as upset as I would be if they did this to Christ. This is Moses. And look what they've done to Moses. And I think they tried to buy off. I I really think they tried to buy off the Jewish people. And I'll explain it. I don't know if anybody will notice this except for me. But once I said it at the dinner table afterwards, Pat and everybody at the table went, oh, my gosh, I didn't even realize. And I think it is. I think they tried to buy off the Jewish constituency. Yeah, look, we destroyed Moses, but we helped you here.